being abused by people who weren't supposed to love and care for me, people who had no responsibility to me, people that society would look at and go, yeah, well, that's what those kinds of people do, you know, kind of thing, um, was a lot easier than being abused by my mother, who was supposed to love me. You know, how many times do we hear, but she's your mother? People feel that way because they still can't connect to the fact that parents abuse their children. My mother is a sociopath and a narcissist. She is the main person that I ran away from in my family. Not the only one, but the main one. At the age of five years old, I start running away. I get so good at it. By 13, I'm completely gone. I'm off grid. I'm living on park benches, in abandoned buildings, and going through all sorts of abusive situations. Like I was a prime target. I was prey. Going days without food. You know, that sort of thing. If I had a do-over, even though the abuse on the street was less painful emotionally because I knew that they weren't supposed to be people who cared for me, I would not have run away again if I knew that day was going to be the day that I ended up not coming back. Only for the reason that if I had stuck in, I could have been going to school. You know, I could have been uh, going to school and then escaping off to university and had some of the milestones that I completely lost because I ended up living on the streets. Other than that, the environment was completely the same. And what I mean by that is in my home environment, even when the abuse wasn't active, I knew it was coming. So there was never a resting point. I was always in survival mode. On the streets, same thing. I knew the abuse was coming or I knew my bottom would fall out. I knew, you know, when I might not have any food to eat or might lose a job when I finally got one, all of those different things. So again, what was I living in? Survival mode, only it was just a little less painful.